You guys might remember these soda blanks that I was working on the other day. And uh, these were the ones that I put in the pressure pot and they looked pretty good, uh, but they were tacky when I took them out. So I set them in the house. And uh, since they were tacky, they weren't fully cured all the way through. And the bubbles that were compressed inside of them were able to re-expand. What I've done is I've gone ahead and sanded them down to the barrel on both ends uh, so that they are trimmed and normally would be ready for the lathe. And then I took a high pressure air nozzle and blew all of the dust out of each of the little holes on top. And this one's already been filled, but I'm just gonna take some medium CA glue and I'm very carefully going to fill all of these pock marks. Just fill them level and pop any bubbles that might come up in the CA because occasionally you'll get a little bubble. And what I'm hoping is this CA will fill these holes and you will not see you will not see them in the blank. And if that's the case, I'll be able to come back and I'll be able to um, barrel trim these one more time. This one here is, um, let me just get down in there. Well, this is a terrible nail. It's got a great big old hunk of metal on the end of it. Good enough though, it's working. All right, and I'll put a little bit more CA in there to level it up. Okay, I can still see a bubble on top. Bubble just doesn't seem to want to pop. There we go. That looks really good. Okay, that bubble's gone. Now what I'm just gonna do is just uh, leave it. I'm not gonna use any activator. I'm just gonna leave them. I see a one more divot on the top of this one. Of course, it's far enough out it'll probably turn away. There we go. I'm just gonna leave these. I'm gonna let them dry. And then when they're completely dry, we will resurface them on the sander to get rid of any, any uh, high spots that formed from the CA. And once I resurface them, we're gonna turn them. All right, they look good. No air bubbles. I've, got, I've popped all the air bubbles in the CA. Let's see, if, let's see how this, uh, what happens. I'll bring this one up and let you take a look at it. You can see it's nice and level and those air bubbles, you can't see them through the side. That CA is clear. It should fill them and it should hide them. Now the ones on the front, those are far enough out to where they're going to turn away. It's the one, see how I got a couple of them that are sort of divoting in there toward the front? Put a little more CA on there. What that is, is the CA is working its way down into the blank and it will seal up all of those little, all those little bubbles that it can get into. All right, let's let this set. And I'm, I'm hoping that very soon we'll be able to come back and I will be able to turn these blanks for you. I do have to flip them over and do the other side, but uh, just gonna repeat the same process. I'll come show them to you when I get them done and hopefully we can turn them into two amazing looking pin blanks. I brought you guys back over because I wanted to show you this blank. This is the very first blank I ever attempted to cast and you'll remember that the resin got into the tube. Mike DeLalter cleaned the resin out of the tube and you can see right down here that I'm very close to the tube. What I want to do is I'm going to try something. I've never done this before. I built a little dam with the tape to keep any CA in there. It's like a little uh, little uh, coved out bowl now. And we are going to try to build that up just a little bit with CA. I'm going to pour very slowly so that I don't get a bunch of bubbles in it. What should happen is the CA, there's a couple of bubbles. I'll have to pop those. The CA will... Um, adhere to the blank, it'll level, and hopefully I can get enough in there to level it enough to where um, I can turn. I just, I don't need a whole lot of distance, just a little bit. And I'm truly not worried about the tape. It'll be glued to the blank, but that's not a big deal. As I barrel trim, that tape will come right off. Now that is gonna take a long, long time to cure, but we're gonna leave it be. It can set for a couple days, it can set for a week if it needs to, I'm not in a hurry. This is just an experiment, but if you take a look at that, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I'll tell you what, let me take the camera off the mount. Take a look at how clear that is. You cannot see any delineation between the resin and the CA glue. So my hope is 
that will dry and I will be able to turn that blank. The glue has dried on my blanks and they look pretty decent. Uh, there's a big hole there, but I've put the bushing in there and it doesn't interfere at all with the center ring. That side looks really good. This one's okay. A lot of the glue came out when I went to the sander. Uh, I think basically as the sander heated it up, it pulled the glue out of the holes. Uh, but the deeper holes down inside, they are still filled. And I think we're going to be okay on those. Here's the one where I flooded the entire back with CA. Uh, two days later, it was still real mushy. So I went ahead and shot it with some activator and it instantly just dried over and there was an air bubble inside. It was like uh, a little, uh, like this air bubble would move up and down in there. So I took a very tiny drill bit, the smallest I could, and I drilled a little hole and I switched it back and forth until that air bubble disappeared. Uh, and it appears that it's it's dried. This is the one I'm really interested in turning, but I'm gonna go turn all three of these. I'm actually not gonna record the turning. Uh, I may record some of the repairs uh, while I'm turning, if that happens, but I'm going to go turn all three of these and we're going to come back and take a look at them and see if we're able to fix. We will look at that bubble above knee high. I will definitely show the repair of that one if it's deep enough in the blank where it affects it. But let me get over to the lathe and get them turned and we'll see what happens. Here's a quick peek at the blank. As you look at it, take a look at the ends here. This is where the bubbles were. You got one right there, but I've still got maybe a 16th of an inch to turn away. I think that one's going to disappear. And there's one, you can kind of see it popping up right there. That one is, uh, is it's going to be close whether there's anything left from that one. So we're going to go ahead and leave those alone. But I want to address this one right here at the top of the knee-high sign. Looks like it might have been a little bubble underneath of the label that worked its way, worked its way up. I'm going to go ahead and blow some air in there to clean any debris out. And then I'm going to fill that with medium CA, hit it with some activator, and then we're going to continue turning and we're going to turn away the, the surface of that. It, it is so deep that if I kept turning like I'm going to do with these and just hope for the best, I can actually see the edge of the uh, bottle cap in there. So that's how deep that thing is. So we need to go ahead and address that one. Just going to clean out the dust using a little bit of medium CA and I'm just going to put a dot right on it. And I'll be really careful to watch for bubbles. So I'm going to pour it in slowly so it fills. There we go. If you pour it in slowly, it'll sort of fill the uh, concave area. And it usually won't leave any bubbles. But if you glop it in there, sometimes you'll trap a bubble under it. And you want to avoid that. I'm going to use a little activator. Just shooting from a distance. I don't want to get too close because you will blow the CA out of the uh, fill area. Looks pretty good. I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds to uh, finish curing. Then we'll come back and we'll continue turning. When you fill with CA, it will dry completely clear and you should not be able to see that bubble that was there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a pass, maybe two, and we're going to stop and take a closer look at this area. We want to make sure that it doesn't just skin over and the CA is still liquid below there. So it starts throwing CA all over me and the lathe and the camera and everything else. So we'll make a pass or two and then we'll check it. We may hit it with some activator if need be. Okay, looking good. So far, it appears to be dry. All right, nice. Now, one thing I want to show you guys, too, this is a little tip I picked up. See all these shavings you get with a Lumalite? I've been using a toothbrush to get rid of those. Somebody told me, use air. It seems to work pretty good. With the toothbrush, I sometimes get it trapped under here, and it seems like it continues to wrap the uh, shavings around the bushing even tighter versus the air, which tends to separate them and then let them come loose. So uh, the jury is still out on whether or not it's a better method than the toothbrush, but we're going to be testing it since I've got the uh, compressor set up at the lathe today, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it's something that uh, will benefit us in the future. I'm going to shut the camera off, finish turning this, and I'll come back and show it to you in just a little bit. I'm really happy. Take a look right there. You don't see anything. It's pretty well hidden, that bubble. At the bottom, I'm looking for the bubble. Uh, there it is right there. There's a tiny little divot right there. 
we are right at the bushing, so I'm going to have to put just a drop of CA there and then turn it away. And at the top up here, you can see that bubble stayed, and there's one right there, and one right there. They don't look too bad, so what I'm going to do is put just a little dot of CA in each of these areas. Uh, I'm going to hit it with accelerator, then I'm immediately going to separate the bushing uh, in an effort to keep from uh, gluing my bushing to my blank. I've gone ahead and loosened up the tailstock so that I can separate the blank from the bushing. And what I want to do now is clean out the, the uh, little divots as well as between the bushing and the blank. I'm going to push the blank up tight against the front bushing. And I'm going to put a little dot of CA glue right there on the hole. And then I'm going to hit with activator and immediately pull it away from the from the bushing and hopefully what that did is give me a nice little wall on the end of here so I still have a flat surface but filled the uh, the bubble same thing on this side we're gonna come in we got two of them together one here one here activator and remove and what I'm trying to do is just keep it moving so I don't seal them together Looks like I still got a bit of a, a bit of a divot there. Okay, get them apart. Ah, see, I'm tearing it up a little bit as I pull it apart. Not too bad. Let, we're going to turn it down and see what happens. I'm just trying to keep it moving so I don't, uh, you know, you don't want to glue your bushings together, or your bushing to your blank. Okay. Let me go ahead and tighten that down and let's run a tool over that and see what we can do. Let's see what she looks like. Pretty good, pretty good. I still have, let me pull that apart. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. There we go, starting to kind of seize to my bushing. Let me let me get it off the lathe and clean up the end of it and clean the CA off the bushing. I pulled the blank off the bushing and cleaned it up a little bit because the CA and the and the activator were gumming it up. I've only got the one little divot left there. The other one is in good shape. They're gone. I think there were three total. We've got to get this one filled. And what I want to do is I'm going to rotate that a little bit to get it to a clean area. You can put some wax on these bushings and it won't stick. Uh, I just don't happen to have any handy at the moment. Let me just drop a little bit of CA on there. Okay. Loosen it up a little bit. I'm gonna pull it apart and I'm gonna act, hit some activator on it. We're getting so close. Actually, that feels pretty good. All right, I've got a little ball of CA there, but it's completely covering the, uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> that one's a little bit of a trick to get to. There we go. All right, now, beautiful. I've got the uh, little divot completely covered. I've got CA on it. I've hit it with the activator. I'm completely free on the bushing, which is what we need. Let's go to the bottom end. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a little CA in there. Make a little bubble on top. Hit it with some activator. She's free of the bushing. Let me wipe the excess activator off so I don't splash it everywhere. All right. Not beautiful looking, but nice. We're going to go now and take the tool and very lightly make one, two passes and clean up the CA. There's a little bit of discoloration there, which means I haven't cut all the way down through the CA, 
The bottom one looks amazing. One or two more passes. That looks stellar. Take a look at that. You can see nothing. Everything is filled. It looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and buff this up and we're going to see how it looks once it's buffed up. It should, you should not be able to tell where that CA went in at. Here's a quick peek at the blank right out of micro mesh. It looks phenomenal. From end to end, it just, it's absolutely amazing. You cannot see the repairs with the CA. It blends right in. I have not buffed this on the buffing wheel yet. I'm going to go ahead and get the other two blanks turned and uh, repaired as best as possible. And then we'll buff them at the end. And I'll show you what they look like when they're ready to be pressed into a pin kit. It looks like I got really lucky with this uh, Moxie blank. Down at this end, it looks perfect. At this end here, uh, I'm ignoring that one for one second. There's one little chip there, but I still have a bit of a lip, so I may be okay. It may require a little bit of fill, but uh, I've got the one right here at the top of the Moxie uh, bottle cap. So I'm going to clean that out, fill that, and I think I'll go ahead and put some CA in that one and that one uh, and just turn it away. That way I can guarantee that uh, I got a nice level surface. Not sure why I blew out the bottom end. There's nothing down there to fill, but <laughs> I did. There we go. We'll start with this one right here at the top of the Moxie. There we go. Now we'll rotate it around a little bit. There's one right there. I'm just going to put a dot there. Hit that with a little activator. Whoops, I keep wanting to roll the end of the lathe and I can't. Let's see, there should be one more. I think that's it right. Well, I think that's it right there, but that's so shallow. I think I'm gonna turn and see what happens. Let me give this a couple of seconds to finish curing and we'll turn it. I was taking the lightest possible cuts that I could. Okay, that one there looks a little rough. That CA may not have been fully cured. I'm gonna take one more pass across that. These look great. I'm gonna take one more pass across that one, and then we're gonna see what we can do um, with the micro mesh. I think I'm gonna hit it with just a little more activator just in case it was tacky or something. That looks amazing. I apologize for the noise in the background. My compressor's running. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with the micro mesh and uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'm very, very happy. I just finished up with the micro mesh and the blank looks amazing. It's ready to go to the buffer, but we have one more blank to turn before we buff it. I think it's gonna look absolutely stellar. Of all three of the blanks, this is the one that makes me the most nervous. Uh, the top part here is all Alumalite, no bubbles, it's completely bubble free, but you see how it kind of dips down right there? Uh, that is where the Alumalite ran, I, my plug had come loose from the end of my blank, and the Alumalite, when it got hit with pressure, ran down and into the tube and filled the tube. The tube is now empty of the Alumalite, but the back end is completely built of CA, and CA is extremely hard. So I have no idea how this is going to turn. So I'm going to record a little bit of this one uh, as we get started and just see what happens. Remember earlier in the video I talked about there was an air pocket inside of the blank and I used a drill bit to alleviate that air? Here's that pocket right here. Uh, all the, it's a gash all the way down the side of the blank. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and continue turning and take more of this away. It's a little tacky right here. The CA is just a little tacky. I'm going to go ahead and continue turning and take uh, some more of this blank away uh, just to see how deep that is. I'm not going to fill yet, uh, but we will do some filling on the back of this blank. However, it's turning a lot easier than I thought it would. I figured that CA would be much more difficult to turn, but it's coming off there pretty good. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. We've still got a bit of a gash back here. That CA did a nice job filling, and it's turning very nicely, but there are some little bubbly areas back here. Let's see if we can clean those out at all. Not too bad. We're real close. We have maybe, if it's even a 64th of an inch left to turn away, but they're still below surface. I'm going to attempt to uh, do some fill and see if I have any luck with, uh, with uh, filling any of these. Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles I can see that are in the CA. I'm really hoping that by leveling up or by building up the CA that I can level it out. I don't know what I'll do about those bubbles. Um, they seem to be rather deep. We'll, well, we'll take a look at those in a few minutes. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this dry for a bit. Then we'll come back and we'll, a few light passes, we'll clean that off of the, uh, of the blank, that CA off the blank, and we'll see what it looks like. I was getting a little buildup on my tool. You can see it on the front there. So I went ahead and ran it across the uh, sharpening system and you can feel the burr. That's gonna help a little bit. So let's see if we can clean that up. Not bad. It, it's looking pretty good. I think it'll clean up pretty darn good. I think we can buff a lot of that away. What I'm really concerned about is one, two, three, four, about, about six air bubbles. Let me see if I can, I've got some micro bits. Let me see if I can use one of those. I'm going to use a set of drill bits. A while back, Mike Motley sent me this set of precision drill bits as well as these uh, handles for them. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose the smallest bit, which looks like maybe the, well, I've got, I've actually gone all the way down to an, a 0.4 millimeter, but I'm gonna choose maybe the 0.7, and I'm gonna put it in one of these handles and see if I can drill into uh, these holes and get some CA glue in there to fill them. I ended up choosing a one millimeter bit. Take a look at that thing, <laughs> it's so tiny. Let's see if we can drill down into any of these pockets. I think I hit the tube on that one. It's really hard to do. Let's see if I can clean up a little bit. It's almost like the CA is still liquid down in there. All right, 
I don't know if this is going to do anything or not, but let's see if we can get some medium on there. Let's get the medium in there, and then let's use the bit to see if we can get it down into any of the air bubble po air pockets. I don't think this one's going to be as successful as some of the others. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, clean the end of that bit off a little bit. I'll soak that in some acetone. Let's get some activator on there. I don't really think we did ourselves any favors. Um, those are gonna be tough to fix. Let's let this set for a minute and then we'll try turning it off. one pass it's a little better not not much yeah that's going to be tough to fix um and it just was so deep. It's all that's all CA right there. So those bubbles, I couldn't see them in the CA, but they are in the CA. I know they're tough to see for you guys because of the reflection. I don't think I'm gonna get this one fixed. I'll try turning a little more away. Maybe I can get below the surface a little more. Afraid if I turn too much more away, I'm going to actually start getting into the bottle cap. <laughs> yeah. Um. Tell you what. What can we do? Let's let's try something here. Let me get see because the bad thing is, if I get into the tube, I mess the tube up. Let me get my Dremel tool and see if I can clean away some of this and rebuild it back up. I've got a diamond point bit on my Dremel, and I'm just going to try to dig this out a little bit and see what happens. I had to take a little break and clean my bit off with some acetone. You can see I've still got some buildup on it, but it's cutting wood, so let's go back after it. Okay, I'm fairly happy with how that looks, and of course I just rubbed my hand over it with my fingers are filthy, and now I've mucked it back up, so let me take a rag with some acetone and just wipe it to sort of smooth that. Just got a little acetone on the tip of my sandpaper or my paper towel there. And that should help clean up anything that was on my fingers, smooth it out a little bit. You can see where I went through and hit the tube with the little drill bit, but it looks pretty good other than that. What I'm going to do is wipe the whole blank down, get the dust off of it. And I'm going to come in and just start building up with my CA, just light coats, and uh, see if I can clean this up a little bit. First thing I want to do is just put a light coat in the deeper parts here. Okay, come back a little bit more, a little bit more.
definitely working from a bubble perspective. I'm going to pause for a minute because my CA is getting really thick. You can see see that divot right there. That's what I've got to got to uh, got to uh, work with. I need to slowly fill that. I'm just going to keep building up little by little. Whoa, a little bit's a little too much. <laughs> We're getting there, and I'm putting CA glue all over my my uh, dust collector. We're getting we're getting there. I really. Uh, Wished I had not drilled into the blank now. Of course, you got to try stuff to learn because I can see the little dots where I hit the uh, hit the blank. That looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Wipe off my bushings and stuff. We're going to let this set for a minute and uh, let the CA glue cure up. And then we're going to come back and we're going to turn this, see what it looks like. Okay, let's see if we can turn it away. The CA glue is, is not squishy, so let's see what happens. It's better. It's not perfect yet, but it's better. You can kind of see where I dug at it with the tool. I'm going to put a little acetone on there, see if I can melt it a little bit. See if we can melt the CA together, just to sort of, yeah. And I probably should have done a little more of this before I put the CA on there. It's getting better. The problem is I've just done so much digging in this uh, little area here that um, I kind of boogered it up worse. I think I made it worse. But you can see that whole area right there. Uh, see if I can. There we go. You can see that whole area right there that I've had to fill. And you can see little, little uh, breasts where the, I've touched the brass tube and I've really boogered it up. I, I don't think I'm going to get much more out of this one. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I hate to, but I'm going to have to call this one a loss. Hey, we got two out of it. Let me buff those other two up and see what they look like. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, I'm happy. You can see the Mihai and the Moxie. I was able to repair the bubbles in those and if you look really, really close, you can see them, but it's super hard. That CA blended really nicely. The Route 66 blank, unfortunately, uh, I ended up letting it go because the back, you can see, it's like scarred. Um, and I think the way I approached it the first time around was the problem. Uh, had I not attempted to drill, had I probably used the acetone and attempted to melt the CA, I wonder if I would have been able to have melted that into those bubble cavities and cleaned it all up. But uh, overall, I'm happy. It was, it was a fun video to do. Uh, and in the words of the famous rock singer Meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> I know that was a terrible pun. You got to forgive me, man. I've been turning all day, CA fumes in the shop. I want you guys to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.